Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a drum fill and there are two ways to do it. The first way is to just record your drum fill. So here's the first part of my drums. Let's have a listen. So I can simply record starting afterwards. And there's a little drum fill. So I move my playhead to bar three where I want to start recording and make sure my metronome's on, counting's on and simply just record the next part with the drum fill at the end. Okay, and now that's created a longer four bar, four bar part. Okay, just gonna do a little quantize there and let's have a listen to that as well. I'm not gonna do a few of my hi-hats for now, so let's just loop my hi-hats. And let's listen without the click. Speed up a bit to save time. And let's have a listen. Okay, now the second way you can add a drum fill is to uh, just simply edit the notes of your drum part. And in order to be able to do this, instead of looping, we need to copy and paste. So this time, rather than just clicking on that loop, the loop um, symbol there, I'm going to right click and copy. You can also control C, control V as you do in most programs. I'm then gonna move the playhead to where I wanna copy it to. And in this case, I want it to repeat straight after. So my playhead goes to bar five straight after, and then I'm gonna right click and press paste or control V. Now, this is just playing that drum part twice. To edit the fill, I'm gonna make sure I've clicked it, clicked on the second one. And I'm gonna to scroll to the end of this part at the bottom in my little MIDI editor. And then now here I can manually change, add or move notes around to change the fill. So this is the fill at the moment. So one thing I could do is I could use the pencil button, the pencil button, and I could just click in some more notes like that. Okay, and let's have a listen. Okay, alternatively, I could move notes about. So, the change is to 32. Could move. Let's see if maybe add an extra kick instead. Maybe add in a couple of room shots instead, just to change it a bit. Um, so I'll just move the notes around instead. Okay, that's another way to edit your drum fill. You can find other notes. Okay, and you could you could maybe add in some toms as well. Just don't make sure it's not too busy. This might be a bit too busy. Let's have a listen and see what I've done. Yeah, it's a little bit busy. Um, but obviously you need to experiment and play around. So I'm just gonna change this to something that might work a bit better. Okay, let's move that up here. Okay, so let's listen to this. It might sound alright, it might not. Let's have a listen. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, so now I've got two drum fills, two different drum fills. The first one I achieved by just recording and extending my drum part. The second one I achieved by copying and pasting and then um, editing the notes of the drum part. So let's just listen to that all in its entirety uh, to finish up the video.
not a fan of that second one. So, just to recap, to record a drum fill, either just continue by recording some more, record another part and make it have a fill at the end of it, or use the copy and paste function and then edit some of the notes towards the end. Drum fill should typically last for the last two beats of the fourth bar. Okay, so just the last two beats for the fourth bar. So bar one, bar two, bar three are the same. Bar four starts the same. And the last two beats of bar four is where you have that drum fill. Okay, the last two beats of bar four is where you have the drum fill. There we go.